cooking, cooking, cooking with Amy. Hi, welcome back, everybody. Well, we all get in a recipe rut, and that's why it's really fun to, you know, go to the farmer's market or even the grocery store now has all sorts of wonderful different squashes. And, uh, you know, my daughter loves, loves, loves acorn squash. So I made this for dinner. Uh, well, it was a side dish with the pork roast the other night, and Ireland and Bob went crazy. And this could not be any easier. I'm going to show you how to do roasted acorn squash, and it's just a great way to celebrate the fall season and do a different side dish, you know. Uh, we do a lot of potatoes in our house, so sometimes it's fun to do something a little different. So acorn squash is just so wonderful. I've never met anyone who doesn't like it. Um, and it's just as easy as cutting it in half. I do it lengthwise, but it really doesn't matter which way you do it. Um, I just think it roasts up a little prettier that way. And then I just take a spoon, and it's much easier to clean out than pumpkins. And you just scrape out the seeds and any of those little strings. done takes seconds to do and then you put it on a roasting sheet now if it's wobbling back and forth on you you can take a knife and cut just a little bit of off the the outside of the squash so it sits up or take a little bit of foil and just kind of put it underneath so it acts like a little bit of a rack now got some butter here and this is just a real simple recipe and it's the way my family loves it a little bit of salt and pepper brown sugar, and this is a few tablespoons of each, and then some maple syrup. So it's going to have that maple, brown sugar. Oh, this is just a wower every time I make it. It's just kind of oohs and ahs, and fall's going to be gone before you know it. I can't even believe I'm saying that. So now is the time to pick up some acorn squash. It's very, very inexpensive, and uh, like I say, they've got it right there at the grocery store you don't get a chance to get to the farmer's market. So here is our yummy mixture that's going to go inside the squash. You need to preheat the oven, and this is the only problem with acorn squash. It takes its good old time cooking because you want it to be just nice and soft and tender. So this is one of those you got to get in the oven and then go tackle the laundry or help the kids with their homework or whatever. It's going to take a good 45 minutes to an hour. You also, though, can speed it up and do it in the microwave or start it in the microwave and then finish roasting it in the oven if you need to speed things up a little bit. I do like roasting it. Um, I just think it gives it so much great flavor. So here we go. Oh, wow. This just makes me happy. That butter and maple sugar gets all melty and delicious, and you just basically you scoop the squash, and then you get some of the butter and brown sugar and maple mixture every time you eat it and there's just nothing better with roast chicken or, or a pork roast out of this world and you know me i'm always cooking even on the weekends on sunday show i am making a pumpkin dip it's really fun it's a, a kind of a, a dessert dip perfect for halloween just a few ingredients and i serve it with ginger snaps apples and graham crackers for dipping the kiddos will love, love, love this. And make sure and watch Living with Amy today, an all new show, all new recipes. We are celebrating fall and I am doing a great uh, a chicken dish with cranberries and apples, really quick and easy. We're also making homemade alphabet soup. So it should be a ton of fun. Living with Amy, 10 o'clock right after live with Kelly and Michael and Pete and Rachel will be right back. So stay with us. And by the way, you can get the acorn squash recipe uh, on our website. You can also pick it up at any area festival foods. We'll be back, so stay with us.